Hello lovely people, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie, I'm a hairdresser and in today's video we are going to talk a little bit about how your diet could be affecting your hair. So each person on average has 120,000 hairs on their head. So that's 120,000 hairs that your body needs to look after. If your hair is feeling dull or isn't growing well, it could be down to lack of nutrients. And the best place to get the new nutrients is in your diet. So we're going to start this video with iron. One of the biggest causes of hair loss is iron. So if you are experiencing a more extreme loss of hair in the shower or in your hairbrush at the moment, then you need to look into your iron intake. Iron deficiency does have some other quite extreme side effects as well. So if you look into that online and see if you're experiencing any of those, and if you are, it's probably best that you contact your do doctor, but do not worry iron deficiency can be reversed. I was iron deficient last year and I took supplements for a year and now I'm absolutely fine. I regularly have my iron levels checked and I have completely reversed it through diet and taking supplements. The best way to add iron into your diet is by eating it and that way your body benefits from all the delicious food and nutrients. The best sources of iron are in red meat and poultry, so turkey, chicken, breast, all meat products basically. However, if you are a veggie or vegan friend of mine and you don't eat meat, that's absolutely fine because beans and lentils come in at a close second. Dark green leafy vegetables are a great source of iron as well as cashews, dried fruit and seafood. The biggest thing that iron does is it reduces hair loss. So next up is vitamin C. So vitamin C and iron kind of go hand in hand. So vitamin C kind of promotes the absorption of iron. So if you eat vitamin C foods alongside iron, your body will absorb the iron better. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant and helps in the production of collagen. Now, we've both heard about collagen. It's really good for anti-aging benefits with your skin and your hair. It makes your skin and your hair stronger. So, we all need more collagen. So some of the vitamin C rich foods are black currants, blueberries, strawberries, oranges, papaya, guava, there's so much, sweet potato, there's loads. Get online, get some vitamin C in your life alongside iron. You need both of those to get the best benefits possible. So now we are gonna move on to protein. Your hair, as well as everybody else's, is made up of protein. And with a diet with inadequate amounts of protein, that will result in dry and dull and brittle hair. And we don't want that. So you need to get some protein into your diet if your hair's feeling dry, brittle at the ends, it's breaking easily, because all of those things are gonna result in hair loss, whether your hair's getting shorter because it's breaking sooner, or if it's just Falling out, falling out of the scalp. We need to sort it. So you need to get some protein into your diet. So if you're a meat eater, then you can get your protein from meat, chicken, turkey, all of that, eggs, dairy products. And if you're a veggie or a vegan, then you're gonna go to legumes and pulses and nuts. And some vegetables as well have small amounts of protein in, but you wanna just get protein rich products. So look online, see what you eat and where you can get your protein from and combine that all together and your hair will start to feel healthier and stronger. Before we move on, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more hairdresser info and facts in the future. I do a few tutorials as well, so if you're into that, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And we're gonna move on now to omega-3 fatty acids. So the interesting thing about omega-3 is that our bodies don't make it. So we have to put it into our bodies to get the benefits from it. Oily fish contains as much omega-3 as we need when you eat it as part of a balanced diet. And if you don't eat fish, you can get your omega-3 from avocados, pumpkin seeds, and walnuts is a great one as well. As well as preventing a dry and flaky scalp, it also promotes blood circulation. And blood circulation triggers healthy hair growth. And definitely last but not least is vitamin E rich foods. These foods can protect your hair from sun damage. And nuts are the best way to get your daily dose of vitamin E to ensure that you're protected from those UV rays. Alongside that, nuts also provide you with zinc, which plays an important role in healthy hair growth and repair. 
I'm gonna break it down for you guys. Having a well-balanced diet will only benefit your hair. If you're depriving your body of vitamins and nutrients, then it's going to show. Not only does a well-balanced diet affect your hair, but it affects your skin, your mood, your mind, literally everything about your body. In my personal opinion, hair is the most important thing in the world. So it's gonna help your hair be stronger and less brittle, which is really important everybody wants strong hair and if you can change that with your diet or you watch this video and you think hmm actually maybe I don't have much iron in my diet or maybe I'm not eating enough protein there's a huge world out there of vitamins and nutrients that you guys probably know absolutely nothing about I'm I'm only sort of here and knowing this because I'm a hairdresser but it's taken a little bit of research for me to get to this point and I'm quite happy with my diet to be honest and what vitamins I get and nutrients I get. I do sometimes have an iron supplement. Um, I quite often get that checked with the doctor, but that's just personal to me. Not everyone needs an iron supplement. I just do. So that's my business and your nutrients and your diet is yours. Don't take it too to heart. If you think maybe you're lacking some things, then try and incorporate them and try and add them into your diet. I definitely know that I need to eat more berries. So that's something that I am working on and I had a really lovely smoothie this morning and it was absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna try and get more berries into my diet that way. But just think about ways that you can change your diet and you can sort of get nutrients and things into your diet that's gonna benefit your hair because you want your hair to to be as strong and healthy as possible and if you can do that by feeding yourself then how perfect eat all of this delicious food and you'll have stronger and healthier hair that won't fall out and your growth will be better your hair won't be brittle so yeah definitely look into it and if you liked this video then please like and subscribe i would really appreciate it i hope to see you guys soon lots of love bye Who am I? Oh god!